Gentlemen, this is Garbage Day. We are on hour one of 24, which is a number that's going to continue to look further and further and further away. We've got Portex on a stream. She'll be coming in real soon, I promise. The idea that there wouldn't be technical fuck is up at the beginning of this is a fallacy. Of course there will be, but we will be getting Portex's art. Uh, I want to uh, start off with a little bit of, uh, you know, sort of housekeeping. Uh, so the premise of this is that we are spending 24 hours of straight fucking podcasting doing uh, reading our awful bullshit and raising money for the National Network of Abortion Funds. If you've never heard of this particular organization, they are not a lobbying organization. They are a logistics organization, which means that they are using this money to provide abortion services for those who need it. So those are, so those donations are very, very, very necessary at this time and hopefully not too long, much longer in the future. But uh, we're not going to talk about that because we've got fun things for you. Fun things such as uh, this document. So uh, in the hour, I've got myself. Uh, Mr. Boots Rangier is here and not panicked. Uh, we've also got <laughs> Frank West. We've got Isfahan. We've got Jimmy Franks. And we've got John Toast. And uh, doing a really, really beautiful... Uh, uh, a really beautiful uh, uh, artistic rendering of a sort of figure in a purple square <laughs> is Portex. And uh, like I said, that's going to be uh, coming in real soon. But uh, I want to start off with this document given to us by Amelia Blank. And thank you so very much for that. And oh, shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Outstanding. All right, every $100 we are going to be playing Mbop, and we are already to $163.50. Thank you so much, so, so much for the folks that have donated so far. But uh, we're going to be going to the website complaintsboard.com. Uh, Complaints Board is a uh, rational place with rational human beings. And so to that end, uh, Jimmy Franks, do you think you could tell me about the experience you've had at the Circle K store? I would absolutely love to, Lemon. Okay. Yep. And uh, I'm guessing you need the link. Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> <laughs> they can't hear this part, right? <laughs> okay, edit point. <laughs> wait, we actually have we actually have something yeah. for that. Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Here we go. <laughs> uh, I love it. Yes, hello. Hi. Uh, what would you like me to tell you about? I, I want you to tell me about the Circle K store. I just want to know what uh, what happened there. Is everything cool? You like the Circle K? Ooh, let me. T okay, look. Let me tell you about the Circle K. <laughs> yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I go in every weekend, and after work, and seem to be lucky enough to catch the donut guy delivering fresh donuts. I asked the clerk tonight if he with a with a like butterfly net, right? <laughs> I got you, motherfucker. Yoink! I asked the clerk tonight if he'd been in yet. He said no, not for another hour. So reluctantly, I buy three one day old donuts, knowing they've probably been fondled and are not fresh. I leave the store, and the delivery guy pulls in with a fresh batch. I go back in, ask the clerk if I could trade the three donuts out for fresh ones. He refuses with a nasty attitude and enjoys telling me that now he gets to throw all the old ones away. And he does it right in front of my face. While maintaining eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> this I... donut goes in the trash, and this donut goes in the trash. <laughs> Ooh. So angry. I threw my bag on the counter, asked his name, and said I'd speak to the owner slash manager. He said he tells me his name's Alex. I leave to get in my car. He runs out after me. Uh, 
telling me that I shouldn't threaten people's jobs and flips me off. Okay. So I lost out on the fresh donuts, but in the name of good customer service, I think he could have let me trade him for fresh ones since the badger ones I bought from were going directly to the trash. I did ask nice, then asked if he'd get in trouble for doing that, and he said no. They lost to good customers. I shopped there a lot in the past. The other staff members are super. <laughs> Compliment sandwich. That's nice of you to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Got some real, real uh, useful advice. I can see here that uh, Albert right now is in ghost mode. <laughs> and uh, uh, if you're looking in the uh, the Twitch stream there, there is a, a bunch of different uh, tricks that you can teach Albert. So if you include one and only one of those uh, keywords uh, in your donation comment, uh, Albert will do a trick. Hey, it's Frank West. Hey, oh. <clears throat> So I've always considered Sears to be an ethical uh, organization. Would you agree that Sears, Sears is ethical? No. No. Oh. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> wow. Like what, it... a, what a surprise that was. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like there's a story behind this sentiment. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have something you'd like to read about it? Uh. Eh. Okay. Well, never mind. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining, everybody. <laughs> Wow, short stream. Four hundred and twenty-three dollars and nineteen cents. <laughs> Frank just speed run garbage day. <laughs> World record. I can't believe everybody else can't get it under twenty-four hours. God. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Sears unethical behavior by employer. On fourteenth of December, twenty fifteen. I. Oh, that's a real name. Real name. <laughs> real name. <laughs> Writing this letter to inform the board of Sears Canada. Employers at Sears treat it very unlawful and misbehavior with me because I didn't told them I was married after started working at Sears Regina. They shouted at me. I felt really bad as so big company like Sears have no right for their employees and they also charged me for all employee discount and told BUR fraud in front of every employee. Please kindly action towards this action. What happened there? I'm from I, Regina, Saskatchewan. <laughs> and and how would you explaining that you were married ameliorate any of this? <laughs> What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> you're gonna have to face the shelves unless you're married. Ooh, ooh. Thank you so much for four hundred eighty-nine dollars and twenty cents. As you can see, your donations are worth nine gallons of floor glue. Also, I accidentally nice gave this uh, the uh, a yoni egg graphic. So yeah, that was a mistake that I made. That will not be fixed. That will not be fixed during the stream. I can no, guarantee that. No, no, no. That's. <laughs> that's that's the new thing. You you uh you glue the yoni egg to the floor. <laughs> oh, because <laughs> you you work on your glutes. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. No. Floor glutes, yeah. yeah. Rosie Cortez eggs now. Thanks for keeping up with current styles, boots. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh 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 I do. Thank you. Yeah, for <laughs> jumbo unsalted cashews, specifically from Coles Supermarkets Australia. Oh, uh, these old things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, jumbo unsalted cashews. It is the second time I punched this product, only to remember why I shouldn't have. Oh, fifty percent of the hurts. product. <laughs> just, in, just in the aisle. <laughs> why did I do that? <laughs> I've never done this before, but... 50% of... Oh. Wow. 50 of the product is made up of cashew pieces. Incredible kilogram price of $27.50 for a second-rate product. Twice stung and never again. Two purchases <laughs> equals $11 for a very poor product. No quality control or care taken. You guys should be ashamed of yourselves! Three exclamation points! Wow, well, they're in pieces because you punched them. <laughs> I didn't consider that! Thank you for putting that out! <laughs> Period. Three exclamation points. That's oh, a rare one. I'm sorry. One. I'm sorry. Yeah, so the, the sentence <laughs> ends normally and then it just goes... <laughs> well, the sentence ended and then he spotted Solid Snake. <laughs> 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 
you know this uh, this place here, this uh, uh, Cole Supermarket Australia seems. You know, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, wait, no. This is. I'm sorry. Now we're looking at Sam T International Incorporated. It seems like all of these are from Australia. That's interesting. Anyway, um, uh, it's fun. There was some uh, incident with Cole, Cologne, right? Yeah. Um, let me tell you about it. now. I. I will not subject you all to an Australian accent, so I'll just say. On uh, December 3rd, 2015, I went to Sam T with a friend and look around at their goods. I purchased two passport covers in leather and saw they had CK1 Eau de Toilette for sale. I asked if it was old or what, and they said, no, they just got it. It was wrapped in cello. <laughs> 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 wow, the wrapping is very elaborate packaging. Yeah. It was wrapped in cello over the yeah. packaging, so you could not test it. To get this cologne, you have to play play Beethoven's Fifth on this cello. No, they <laughs> freaking Resident Evil puzzles are such garbage. Uh, so I paid for my goods and never saw posted any kind of return policy. The next day, I sprayed the cologne and noticed that after five minutes, there was no evidence of any kind of smell. I continued to try for a few days, and it's in 2015. COVID hadn't been invented yet. Okay. I continued to try for a few days, and still after a short period of time, no smell. I contacted the vendor to tell him, and he went off and was very rude. I told him I was coming down with my friend. You can spray this stuff on me, and I will sit there for 15 minutes or so to prove what I was saying. I like it when you watch my friend spray this stuff on me. He was He's going to very... spray me. Yeah. yeah, spray me, bro. Yeah. And you're going to watch. Uh... Stare, like, keep eye contact while spraying. Just. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He was again very rude, but I said I was coming down. Later that day, he had a salesperson in his office say she sprayed the cologne on her and it was fined. I told her <laughs> I was not buying her the cologne and that each person has a different chemistry and her call was really uncalled for. <laughs> Yesterday, 12, 11, 15, I went to Sam T and again the owner sprayed another bottle on, on cologne on himself and said he smelled it and that some people come back with the cologne and water it down and try to... Return it, I almost choked him. First of all, he did not spray the bottle I had on himself and that I that he said on the phone he would let me... Y'all really like these damn uh, Ace Attorney games, don't you? <laughs> he would let me prove by spraying and waiting in his business that the cologne was not good. He tosses the bottle at me and tells me to go to the flea market to shop. Wait, I had already contacted... Yeah. I had already contacted my bank and filed a complaint and have a credit for the $31, and he will be charged back unknown to him. But the owner is an ass. <laughs> but the owner is an ass and is selling old or tampered with cologne and should be prosecuted for selling <laughs> knockoff goods. I'm sure, I sure the Calvin Klein Corp would like to know about the bootleg cologne they sell. The Calvin Klein Corp does not give a fuck. They sell with their name on it. I have, I'll have you know I have Mr. Klein on the phone right now. <laughs> oh, here we go. The owner is a very nasty Indian guy and should be fined for being a dirt bag and selling bogus products. That's an important detail that he included there. Got less fun. I will be filing with the BBB and Consumer Protection Agency in the state of NJ about this incident. So Big beautiful Bimin? Big beautiful <laughs> business. I think big it might be the business. Better Business Bureau. Oh, but... Big beautiful no, business. No, it's Big Beautiful Business. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, oh, there we go. <laughs> Jump with it! <laughs> anyway, the state of NJ about this incident so that he can feel the full extent of the law. <laughs> Just... Boom. Just lean back, fold my arms, and wait for anybody other than me to give a shit about this. Wow, who knew who knew that this jerk who got COVID like five years early was like <laughs> not nice to not nice at, to at first people. it sounded like he was assembling a cologne testing posse to to uh, fight against <laughs> the store's cologne testing posse that they were assembling. <laughs> 
I uh, I want to uh, before moving on. I just want to say uh, here we are, like sixteen minutes into the stream, uh, and I mean that number is amazing. Uh, thank you so very very much yes. for your donations at this point. Uh, yes, really you. really briefly, uh, anonymous donation for sixty nine dollars and twenty two cents. Nice. Uh, Kthor gave uh, eighty dollars and eight cents with the comment, "It's the boob. It's the boob number. I can't afford boobs, so it's just boob." <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Thomas gives us uh, sixty nine dollars sixty nine cents. Uh, Shame boy, another sixty nine dollars, and uh, Grandma Beelzebub, one hundred. Uh, so many donations uh, rolling in, and we just appreciate it so very, very much. And there's so, so many stupid things uh, on this horizon uh, because of these kind of donations. But let's move on to Yelp. What do you actually? Say? Can we? Sorry, can we? Yep. Uh, can we bring up one thing? We have an overall goal for the uh, for the day. Oh, okay. Tell me about that, Boots. Um, so last year, our, oh God, what was it? $21,694 and 20 cents, I believe. Yeah, no, I, yeah, there was no, I got the 420 and the 69 backwards. Yeah, 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 uh, but, uh, if we, if we get past that goal, uh, uh, Frank West, what will you do? I will play, I will, I will take a Saturday next month and play to completion, uh, <laughs> the game Illum. Um, which I have been thinking for a while about how to describe Ilum, and I do not think I can. <laughs> Ooh, I'm already uh, interested. It is a game about destroying <coughs> Babylon that attempts to be biblically accurate. Um, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm here for that. 100%. I, uh, it involves flying like Superman and hitting buildings so hard that they shoot off into the atmosphere. <laughs> I, 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 I played it for at least three hours total, and I don't think I understand what I'm doing or how to do anything. Fantastic. <laughs> that sounds uh, perfect. Uh, oh my also, God, is... I am all about I am all about the game where you become Jeremiah from the Bible and become Super Saiyan. That's great. <laughs> uh, also, it is that time for um, uh, for a uh, our first poll um, because uh, this is our number one. If you're looking at the uh, the schedule that we have there posted, uh, you will note that uh, hour two is the Dick decision. So I'm going to activate that poll right now. So now if you donate, you can put money towards one of our two topics for our two. It is either getting horny on itch.io. If you're not familiar, itch.io is a place for video games. These are all <laughs> horny video games. There is one particular title of a horny video game that I went, that has to be read. Um, so uh, getting horny on itch.io or... Uh, brothel reviews, just, just this, just people reviewing brothels. How was your service at the brothel? Was it nice? Do you have weird shit you want to talk about? It's brothel reviews. Yes, you do. So uh, that is uh, currently any donation that you have can be put towards one of those two choices. We have uh, we have that total there on the screen. Whichever thing gets more uh, dollars by the end of this hour will be uh, the document that we read in the next hour. Um, but I want to move on to, uh, rock and ribs, rock and ribs. That sounds like a Jimmy Frank's place to me. This review is fucking long, <laughs> so you can decide wow. what you want to do with that piece of information. <laughs> but, uh, but Jimmy Frank's, uh, you had your daughter's birthday at a rock and ribs. Okay. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Oh. Set myself up for thanks. success. Thanks, thanks, Dad. That's really mm -hmm, yep. It's kind of like when somebody gets you a birthday present that they're just going to use themselves. It's like, <laughs> oh, thanks. Okay. It's, uh, anyway. it's, the ribs are in the shape of uh, Elsa, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, these ribs are fresh, not frozen. Elsa's for oh. old people, oh. Dad. Ah! <laughs> wow. Wow! We don't have a rim shot on the on the panel here. Oh, no. I don't think. <laughs> uh, you go ahead and read, give me friends. I'm going to donate twenty dollars specifically for that joke. Uh, <laughs> my family and I attended my brother's seven year old daughter's birthday, and this was the outcome of an upsetting evening. One. Oh boy. <laughs> 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 yeah, settle in, everybody. One, if you have rock and ribs, I wrote out Ulysses. <laughs> <laughs> 
one on Spur website. I searched on Tuesday uh, under specials. I saw 400 grams rocket ribs for um, $89.90 in real. What is, I don't know what the currency is, rupees maybe, uh, with the next quote from website of the new special. <laughs> Tuck into Spurs Rock and Rib special every Wednesday and add a top up for only twenty four nine. Uh, sorry, I just I just dissociated for a second. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Where am I? <laughs> Two, at Brackenfell Spur, I informed the waiter, Manfred, that I would like to have above special for my son. Excuse me, Manfred. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a terrible parent. His immediate response is that there's no rib special, only with draft of beer that had no price on the table advertisement. Three. <laughs> I go- <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I Googled Spur special on my cell phone. The waiter read the advertisement and still responded that the website's faulty. Website was loaded wrongfully and showed me other add-ons. It goes with the ribs. Suddenly now he knows about a rib special. Like Again, I showed him on my cell phone. There's no other add-ons underneath rib special. Only wording is above. He still said no. And then I requested the manager. <sighs> Four. <laughs> oh Lord! What an exhausting person this is. Yeah. The man. I gotta pace myself. The manager, <laughs> Cynthia, that attended my complaint is blonde, but really, it really is blonde. I went through the whole explanation again. It's for point three. All she said, I'll call someone for you. Left. Your complaint oh. is blonde. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. Uh, then another manager, Clinton, came. Again, I explained with rudeness. He said that such a special doesn't exist and blamed Spur website who loaded with rib special. I also said to him, I'm reading what I'm reading and let's do an argument. He refused and said, no, I then informed him. I'll make the necessary phone calls to the next day to call center complaining. But with an attitude, he said, I can go ahead and left my table. I this was very is upset. so fucking long. <laughs> you're not even halfway. You're nowhere near halfway. <laughs> this, is, this is the taken of can I speak to a manager? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Eight. Okay. Yeah. All right. Wow. As I was speaking to call center of a manager. <laughs> yeah, we broke a thousand. Oh my yeah. god. Wow, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, 24 minutes. Fuck, okay, hold thank on. you. No, seriously, thank you so much. Oh my yeah. god, yes. Fuck, what a great audience we have. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I hope you all pace yourselves. So good. Yeah, agreed. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip to Act Two. Sorry. <laughs> Eventually. Yep. Yeah, maybe you'll get there at some point. Let's go to the appendix. <laughs> Nine. After many telephonic conversation, I went back to my family, enjoying the night further with them. Ten. My dad ordered the 200G ribs after 19 hours, 15 minutes. But this is like a... 200 gram ribs? That's... Okay. I mean, that seems kind of small, but... Uh, But receiving it after 20 hours, that's fine. But he had to eat his spare rib with a butter knife while cutting between bones. My mom had to hold the one side after finishing his food. The waiter arrives. My dad informs the waiter of the knife situation. Food completed. And I mentioned that whenever you serve ribs, you must provide a warm bowl of water with lemon in. Uh, hmm. Nothing. Now, waiter turns around and disappears looking for a knife and water bowl. My dad cleansed his hands with serviettes. Okay, uh... Just poll. I mean, this is not scientific. There's only a couple of us here, but like any have any of you ever gotten a warm bowl with lemon in it at a ribs place? Has that ever happened to you? No. no. Okay. All right. I've gotten like the little handy wipes in a yeah. packet, but yeah, yeah. Like put in the bag not... with the with the worst bread in the world, right? Yeah. I have not I have not gotten a warm bowl of water with a lemon in it brought to me by a concubine, no. Like <laughs> I am not King Solomon. (laughs) Uh, Am I to lick my fingers like a peasant? (laughs) 
Uh, this, is, this, this is just going down the river in Apocalypse Now here. <laughs> 20 hours, 30 minutes. My sister-in-law went for the third time to ask when they're coming to sing for a seven-year-old girl. And they said, this is a ribs place, you idiot. Yeah. <laughs> Rockin' ribs. God damn it, I'm still in rockin' ribs. 20 hours, 45 minutes. I left with my son. Still no singing. Just before I left, I asked the waiter for his name, and he pushed with an attitude. His name tag on his shirt into my face. I told him in front of my family, that's not right. Someone asks you something, you answer. Not pushing it into a person's face. That was the last of his whole prophetic, unprofessional behavior towards a client. He didn't have any respect for me. 12. One day this dinner is going to be over. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, here. We, oh, this is uh, number 12. When we arrived at my family table, my son put a rubber egg on one of our book tables. Okay. A few minutes later, no, nothing for that. Nothing for the rubber egg. No. A few minutes later, he and the cousins started to look for the rubber egg. Nowhere. My sister in law asked our waiter. He says, no, he doesn't know. She goes, the cookie staff. Maybe it's on an empty plate. They said to the waiter, uh, was playing with it. She went back to him, still saying no. She informs him that the staff saw him playing with it, and then this is like a, this is like, <laughs> this is like a Tim Robinson sketch. Uh, <laughs> then he replies, he'll go and fetch it. My son received it. Then back, my parents and family's very disgusted by the whole situation. My parents will never go there again. They're like, do you promise? <laughs> uh, I can keep going. There's still pages of this. I believe you. I believe. Yeah. So can this fucking guy. <laughs> You after, can't keep, yep, no, 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 yeah, yeah, go, yeah, keep going. Uh, after 21 hours last night, I had to make supper for me and my child. This situation what? is not accepted at oh, all, no. and I will go all the way doing what is needed to do. Please, no phone call from the branch. I will not accept apologies because what happened never had to happen. If this is how a person gets treated, but my money is perfect, ah, the branch doesn't on, need to die. exist. <laughs> 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 uh, I'm just going to interrupt for a second uh, to make a clarification. Uh, for the donation poll, it's not actually uh, parsing the text on it like it did in previous years. Um, there's a, a second step in the donation form where you can select uh, between. So on the actual Tiltify donation form <laughs> that you're giving money to the National Network Abortion Funds, you're actually choosing uh, a radio option between horny on itch.io and... Uh, 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 brothel reviews. Brothel reviews. Yeah. So yeah. if you go, if you go into that form, there's there's a just donate button that'll just push you through. Um, but if you do the next button, then you have like other stuff. Like so, for example, there will be donation incentives later on, which is also where you claim that. So you so uh, if you want to do any specific thing with your donation other than change Albert, uh, you probably want to go to the next button rather than the just donate button. Sorry for not clarifying that earlier. Uh, uh, hours, 30 minutes. This. I go on this. Right. <laughs> God! <laughs> yeah, God. <laughs> oh, Jesus, this fucking guy. I thought you left. <laughs> oh, this is... uh, anyway, he went back the next day, and uh, they did post the rib special, and now he uh, is uh, claiming there's a conspiracy against him. <laughs> that, uh, I thought it was going to end where like they fixed the issue and he was like that's fine thank you no, very much he's I just like, oh your you're care. trying to destroy the evidence now huh <laughs> <laughs> so um fun fact with my uh oh fun fact come up yay yay <laughs> Uh, fun fact from the uh, background Googling I did while uh, Jimmy was reading, uh, the closest thing I could find for that currency is the uh, South African Rand. So take that as you will. All right. right. All right. <laughs> um, uh, John Toast, uh, yes. when we, before we uh, hit record or, or begin, I guess, begin, uh, before we hit begin for this hour and all the 24 hours that follow, um, you had a thing in this document you really, really wanted to read. <laughs> Yes, I have a very, <laughs> I have a very pertinent complaint that I want to raise. Okay, cool. <laughs> I ordered KFC a month ago. Still haven't received it. <laughs> they're coming. They're coming. Here they come. <laughs> I placed an online order on October 20th of 2015 for the KFC in Dartmouth. No Might be New South Wales. I don't know. <laughs> Dartmouth, 
North uh, Carolina. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, there it is. <laughs> upon receiving my confirmation it's, number, it's Nova Scotia, New oh, Sound, Nova Scotia. New Soundland. Oh, oh, Nova Scotia. No, I think it's North Carolina boots. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> North North Carolina. <laughs> I mean, what do you know about Canada? Come on. <laughs> Order KFC. Wait for a month for it to arrive. <laughs> Upon receiving my confirmation number, my family and I proceeded to wait for an hour. Oh, I say, an hour and a half. <laughs> wait for just the sat fuck? there waiting at the table <laughs> silently. <laughs> knock, 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 knock. Cut to cut to the cartoon skeletons at the table. <laughs> oh, it's a Fallout tableau. <laughs> After the yeah, oh my oh God. yeah. The DoorDash driver goes in. It's like, wow, good environmental storytelling. <laughs> <laughs> we finally drove to the store to have the lady tell us that no order was placed. After speaking to the complaint line that evening, I was assured they received my order or I wouldn't have a confirmation number. <laughs> that hmm. that okay. customer service person didn't give a shit. Yeah, you got yep. a confirmation number, right? Yeah, well, you got your yep. chicken. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'm now on my fifth call to the complaint line <laughs> where they assured me a general manager or someone would contact me to apologize. It's now November 23rd, 2015, and still no phone call. I am disgusted by the lack of concern for ruining my dinner. I was trying to set up for family, but even Over a month ago. <laughs> just stewing the whole time. <laughs> I, they're still sitting at the table waiting. I don't let them leave. <laughs> their partner's it's the principle like, of the thing, damn it. Their partner's like, come on, just let it go. It's like, no, there was chicken. It was supposed to be here. <laughs> it's funny if, if, like, on principle, he wouldn't let anybody eat until he got an apology. <laughs> <laughs> He's forcing his family to hunger strike over this KFC. I am starving. No, get away from the fridge. They're waiting for us to fold. <laughs> We've got to stand firm. <laughs> <laughs> the line must be drawn here, this far, and no further. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, but even more disgusted by the lack of care and concern to try to rectify this situation. And the chicken, never flitting, still is sitting, still is sitting. <laughs> <laughs> Both the colonel and never more. Yes. Uh, boots! Mm -hmm. Boots, how did your trip to McDonald's go? Uh, McDonald's? Uh, yeah. I, like, I don't know, it might have been okay, but I have a problem with McDonald's management. No. Oh, no. Yeah. Managers at this location seem not to know much. I came through drive through and my order was wrong. I went inside and asked for a manager. And the manager came up to me. She seemed to be high on drugs. <laughs> okay, and, yep. And not all there. It seemed that she did not work well with others. As I was standing there waiting for my food to be remade, the only thing she did was talk down to others around her. I thought there as a new GM in town. As a new GM in town. <laughs> this Richland's location seemed to be disorganized. A big problem with this location is that it has flies infestation. Hmm? Okay. All right. I'm done. All right. Great. Hey, uh, I want you. I want you. Just those of us in uh, in this recording for this hour. I want you to because uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this uh, this piece called card charge twice. Mm -hmm. I want you to very quickly uh, just scan uh, that that review and figure out what exact sentence I just wanted to read. <laughs> just just see uh... if you can figure out what I wanted to read out of that. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. On November 2020, or 22nd, 2016, I placed an order. I gave you an order number. You're welcome. For a bunk bed and two mattresses and dining table with four chairs. What the next table? day. That's, a, uh, that's not a dining table. Oh, it's a dinning table. No, it's, a, it's a, just a table with a nice din. You know, it's yeah. very sophisticated. Let's turn down the saturation on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, the next day, my card had two pending payments of the same amount, the total order amount. I immediately contacted the customer service team uh, to refund me as soon as possible 
as the order amount was not small and my card could go minus. They replied that I will have my money back in seven working days. I borrowed money from my friends to put in my account so bank does not charge me for going over the limit. When time passed, in general, I contacted the customer <laughs> services again and another ticket was raised with formal reply. When I asked what happened to the first ticket, no explanation was given, just that the first one was merged into the second. I raised another complaint via online form, which was added up to my ticket, and no reply. So it seems that whenever there is an issue, there is no one who wants to take ownership for the case and solve it. And the most irritating thing is that I received an email asking me to provide my 16-digit number of my card. Well, okay, that's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was asked to provide... Just just never, ever, 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 ever assent to that request. Just, just don't do that. Anyway, uh, I was asked uh, to provide my 16-digit number for my card so the refunds team can verify whether my card was charged twice <clears throat> be right back i just uh, need to go oh, going over here for just Albert. a sec just gonna just gonna okay okay <laughs> what was <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's our one guys that was a good decision <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Lemon, you say that as if <laughs> we've never just blown out our voices at the start of something. Yeah. I gotta, at least we're blowing it out during the show. We've uh, done it there before. Is that. Yeah, we yeah, have done it true. just off that's camera. Uh, actually, I, I, I did that last night already. So once, you get, <laughs> once we get to hour 20, you're all going to figure out why. <laughs> anyway, this is completely unacceptable. It looks m like more that as a scam. They claim to be a professional company who would like to be a leader in retail sector, and they do not have a system to check the history of payments and orders of the client. I hope managers read this and take in or, and take actions. You need to invest in your customer service and provide proper training. And of course, I hope I will be refunded as soon as possible. My actual name. Uh, <laughs> let's see here. Let's see yeah. here. What, what, uh, what was it going for? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, here we go. Uh, Frank West. Gets me. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything, so I'm just going to mm -hmm. post a title here in the Discord, and uh, that's what I would like <laughs> to read, please. <laughs> Background music in television is too loud. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You're all producers all right. of all TV shows. Mm, mm -hmm. well, Please I mix your audio differently. I didn't like, know Ed Wynn was on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Lately, it seems producers are adding so much background music, it's almost impossible to hear what's being said. It's too loud! <laughs> I got so frustrated last night watching Undercover Boss that I turned it off. Because I'm it's sure. a bad show? Is that why? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sure the advertisers are happy to know that I, for one, didn't see their commercials. <laughs> oh no, we lost I, her. <laughs> I, always, I always love when that card gets played. <laughs> <laughs> it used to be mostly on documentaries or British TV shows. British. British TV shows, but now it's popping up everywhere. Why all the noise pollution? Can't we just hear what people are saying? <laughs> well, that guy's British. <laughs> um. Uh. Okay. Um. Uh. It's fine. You didn't. You didn't I, get. You didn't get duped by AshraSpells.com, did you? I. Uh, well, you know, if if I want to help other people out, I will uh, I will share my experience on AshraSpells.com. <laughs> Very convincing, and I'm a fool, but I was so down about a lost love, I bought into her talking me into one spell after the other. <laughs> nothing works, you don't say. nothing will ever work, and I'm out of the money. She has pictures. Of, <laughs> she has pictures of both of us. So I was a fool to send pictures to a stranger. <laughs> I did this over a period of four months. Half tea all, half to look I spent and can provide you with the dates. I have to look it all up. What is 
that mean? I don't know. <laughs> it means a witch somewhere has a picture of me and my ex my ex girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first day of the rest of her life. I think she just got better. That's awesome. Uh, just uh, scroll again, scrolling through these donations. Uh, Thirty dollars, salubrious Rex. Uh, shame boy, I see you. I see you. I see you, and I appreciate you. And you definitely want some itch.io uh, porn, and you will be getting it, I think. But uh, you know, uh, just you know, take care of yourself. Um, uh, Doctor Interrogative, uh, five dollars sixty nine cents. Uh, we got Linda with twenty dollars. Uh, we got Dar Darth Bob, <laughs> Darth Bob, uh, with $29, uh, just so many donations. I shouldn't really start doing this because then I have to read a bunch of them and oh, so many of you have donated and it's great and I appreciate it. And I want Jimmy Franks to read about the Christian psychics. Oh man. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> they were very disrespectful once they got my hundred dollars. Hmm. Sister, Sister Michelle gave me a free reading. Then, then Sister Michelle told us spiritual work can be done for a hundred dollars on everything. Uh, she hands my case over to Bishop Phil because he's so much more experienced. <laughs> the only problem is Bishop Phil doesn't. Bishop know. Phil sounds like a character in Foxy Brown. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking more Thomas the Tank Engine, but okay, also fun. <laughs> that was, I, was just Bill. I was just imagining like Yafet Toto with like a pimp cane. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, damn! Oh, no. Thank you so much. Oh, all right. It's back to me, Hoon Bob Town. I see how it is. Hoon <laughs> Bob forever! <laughs> 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 oh no! Um, yeah, it's <laughs> like, like ice at the bottom of the glass. <laughs> so, I, so I need to explain something here. Yeah. Uh, the, the the back end code is missing some of the umbops. The whistles got woo. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna try to fix that between now and next hour. <laughs> Wait, missing some of the umbops? Yeah. Oh, I see. What that's you're that's mind. how I that's how I missed the mm. bug. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jimmy Franks. You, uh, the what yeah, were you telling well, us the story? I finally get Bishop Phil on the phone and he charges me $500. He gets angry when I ask questions. He starts yelling when I ask him the right questions. He says he could not do my case, but there's only one problem with that. I already paid $100, the same $100 that Psychic <laughs> Sister Michelle told me that was only was needed <laughs> to complete the work. I get on the phone and Sister Michelle starts yelling as well. I wanted to hang. I mentally blocked the negativity from her yelling, but I did not because I was thinking, wow, now they got my $100. I guess they feel they could treat me like crap. She then yeah. told me that everything would could $700. They like to fast talk you in believing that you must pay or else. Or else they what? don't call you back. <laughs> I don't know. Those, those psychics are very they, intimidating. They, then they turn their Christian psychic powers against you. <laughs> <laughs> those crystal balls are heavy, man. They like wang you at your head. <laughs> Just chucking it at your head. <laughs> <laughs> Dance, bitch! <laughs> they, want, they, they don't minister to you. They try to find out your job so they could charge you more money. Hmm. I've not referred any of my clients to them for spiritual work. I have over 100 clients. Everyone's tough over the phone and over the Internet. They work with hundreds of people on the phone. Spiritual work should be sh spiritual work should but treated with care, not like some food at fast food restaurants. I decided to go to someone that is more reputable, has real reviews and that I can see in person. Wow. Unlike the previous person, you are about to get duped again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm going to find a Christian psychic. Yeah. I'm going to find psychics that aren't a scam. I'm going to find a real <laughs> wallet inspector. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how about you, uh, John Toast? Do you need some psychic help? Uh, yes, I need some psychic help. <laughs> I have been receiving several emails from this person offering the usual help. Etc. for a fee. <laughs> That's what the email said. <laughs> I've never paid anything, thankfully, because tonight I get this email telling me that with the help of her friend, a uh, real name, I assume, she can release my psychic debt, etc. Also, that I had a past life where I was a cotton trader in the 1850. Uh, I made fun of a fortune teller, etc., etc., etc. Behold! Can we can we rewind uh, just for a moment? <laughs> Uh, okay. Psychic, psychic debt. Can you explain? 
<laughs> like I've never been much of an economist. Psychic debt. So like, so that I is. T- I. They said that if I put a TV on a psychic credit card, I could pay it off within the eighteen months, and I wouldn't be charged any interest. <laughs> but I forgot to get my payments, and so I have psychic debt. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe Appreciate it's maybe it's like sleep debt, where if you don't psychic for eight hours a day, you go start going into psychic debt, and it just builds up. <laughs> Okay. Um, <laughs> sorry, sorry, thank you. You were at Behold. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, I was at Behold! <laughs> I checked this forum out, and guess what? What? There are loads of us being told the same thing! The email address I noticed is... Real name, maybe? Something or other? Sound familiar? Anyone? <clears throat> I'm going to move back. Oh, interesting. All right. <laughs> Do not One. send this person <laughs> any money, please! <laughs> <laughs> there's some others who have they cannot get a refund from them I am so sorry for you but thankful I did not send any this or these persons or people need to be found to be stopped they're seriously messing with people's lives who could have disastrous circumstances <laughs> <laughs> uh, like the poor man who feels like committing swick swick because he is in so much debt to this person and this credit card company I hope these fraudsters get caught <laughs> the only period in that other thing that wasn't part of an ellipsis. <laughs> well, there were some etceteras in there, but <laughs> uh, uh, Isfahan, uh, Hi. we're coming down to the end of this hour. Uh, but uh, we're I'm, a, I'm looking at uh, master matchmakers, and uh, and I'm I'm, a, I'm I'm into it. I'm about to spend money on master matchmakers. Would you recommend that? Uh, no. Oh, well, no, because this person's name is a crook and a liar. They are nothing but greasy <laughs> drifters. <laughs> I was treated like That's a dog so abuser. Greasy, G R E E S Y. Like even, even like down to the the identifier is a liar. <laughs> I was treated like a dog abuser. Wow. What have they heard? They do not deliver what they say and fight you on it uh, when you try and challenge their work. <laughs> I am in retail, and I would never ever treat an enemy, much less a client, the way I was cheated. If you are considering a matchmaking service, do not use this service. They are horrible. This is a scam, and these people ought to be ashamed and stopped. <laughs> uh, Boots, I'm pretty happy with, uh, um, you know, Albert in general. I love Albert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but, yeah. You know, I, th- I think I'm going to use Freelancer to get a, a, like a logo or something. Would you recommend that? <laughs> I would. I okay. would. Uh, no, wait, I wouldn't. Oh, no. <laughs> I forgot where I was. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm angry about this. Up, man. Come on, what are you doing? <laughs> ah, blah, blah, blah. I is. started a contest on freelancer.com. I chose a winner. <clears throat> I like the logo very much. Great. After the contest, it turned out my logo was a plagiarism. <laughs> and yeah. another company sued me. Correct. I couldn't. I couldn't contact the freelancer, neither my lawyer. I know he is from India, and I know his nick, nothing more. Freelancer.com didn't answer me. Avoid this website! So you have <laughs> enough money to have a lawyer on retainer. Yeah. And when it comes time for you to need a logo, you're yeah. like, mm, $5. Yeah. <laughs> well, Apparently I got the lawyer shitty... on freelancer.com, it, too. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently it's a shitty lawyer because he doesn't take his calls. <laughs> it was actually the same guy who did the it's, logo. I, yeah, I, yeah, you can be like that. I couldn't contact the lawyer. I couldn't contact the freelancer, neither my lawyer. <laughs> I only had to make one call. Ha cha cha. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, I want another one from you, Svahan. I'm looking at mysticalforums.net. Uh, would you mind reading that one for me? Okay, mysticalforums.net. Oh, yeah, farm, farms. <laughs> yeah. Hope of SPS Reviews Forum is at it again. In her shill promoting of just Yaya... M- Yaya Maria, I hope these aren't real names, Uh, she has opened up another forum to try to obtain addresses to slam others on her trash and bash forum. There is a clear picture of her on the thread below. Tired of the way the scammer talks about not just spellcasters, psychics, and spirits, but people who got tired of her blatant lies and negativity and left her sight years ago! And then uh, there's a URL. 
Uh, site members keep running back and telling me of more lies. Defamation of character is a serious offense. Several of us are ready to sue, and no, we are not on the business. On the... You're not on the... You're not on we're the not business? A, we're not about that life, normally. <laughs> uh, and there's a screenshot, which is hard to... I don't know what that is. Uh, out of context, it makes no sense. This website isn't run by... It's lowercase h hope this time, so hopes and dreams, let's say. You yep. may not had notice, but this website has users talking bad about hope website. Use some common sense. <laughs> Sounds like you are just mad because this website have some users talking bad about your business. Was oh, that, that was a different user responding. <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, um, so. So, uh, so yeah, I think uh, at this moment, uh, I think I have to call the poll uh, unless uh, some big ass whale needs a brothel review. Uh, I, think, I think that's pretty well established. Uh, so, so our next hour, we will be reading uh, "Getting Horny" on itch.io. Uh, pretty early on, you're going to see the title that made me giggle very hard. Um, <laughs> and uh, and thank you so much. I mean, this is like it's not like I have a memory of garbage days and general they kind of just all like you know sort of sponge together into like one sort of like brain mush but i do mm. think that this is probably our best first hour and i really really do appreciate it keep sticking with us we've got so so many dumb things planned uh and we are going to take a break and we will be back in the next hour with getting horny on itch.io talk to you soon